Welcome everyone. Adam is the woo here as the recording of this is Saturday, June 19th, 2021. And I am holding, about to consume a freshly squeezed OJ, not piping hot nor caffeinated in front of Orange World. And I chose this location for the intro, not only because it is full of vitamin C. Oh man, that is, whoo, that is good but also because it is a sphere that looks similar to the top of a baseball. Granted, it is orange. And a baseball, as far as I know, unless you paint it, is not orange. Also, I have a new haircut. The wind is blowing, so I kind of have a little bit of a cowlick. Is it cowlick? Cattlelick? It looks like a farm animal has licked the top of my head. Cowlick. Nonetheless, I digress. Back in the day, Look at the look at the wind blowing my hair there. I think it's a pretty decent haircut though. Back in the day when I was younger, I wanted to be a baseball player. I was really into baseball, collected baseball cards, followed all the teams. This was late 80s into the 90s. And then after that, I considered for a very short while of going to umpire school. These are things that you might not realize. So I'm going to share that info with you, talk about the past and how I would like to get back in to going to baseball games. I'm making that proclamation now as I sip on this OJ. Freshly squeezed, and I'll give you a little tour, and I'm gonna go buy a couple, maybe at least one, maybe two or more baseball caps and talk about some games that I will be attending as time goes on. It's official. I'm getting back into watching baseball and going to games. Heck it change things up a bit. Rediscover what I used to really enjoy and love. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? No need to worry, Big the Foot. There won't be a major shift in content on any any kind of level. It'll just be something I do occasionally. Kind of pepper it in, if you will. Just have some fun. Do some enjoyable things in life. Mixing it up a bit. Went ahead and decided to stop by Lids here in the loop, kind of wedge between Little Greek and Vitamin World. Should have a nice assortment of hats in there. I pick out a couple of stadiums I plan on visiting in the, well, we'll say near future, but in the semi near future. Ended up getting four ball caps. Thought I was gonna get one or two, ended up with four. These, this will pretty much seal the deal on me visiting these stadiums. Of course, Tampa Bay is about 90 miles from here to Tropicana Field, two hour drive, give or take, probably more with traffic. Might not go over there quite as much, but I will, over time, this is not gonna be anything immediate, but one day I will you know, go there, show the stadium, show some food, watch the ball game, as well as Atlanta Braves. Of course, the Dodgers in Anaheim are in close proximity to my place out in Orange County, California. In fact, Anaheim Angel Stadium, now called the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, is probably a mile or so, maybe two miles, walking distance or a short commute to that stadium from my place out in the OC. So I'll probably be frequenting that ballpark quite a bit. Now sometimes Tampa Bay will play the Angels and I have to go with wearing my Angels cap if I go to any of those games. Down there, oh, the bag just fell. But any other games, I'll wear the, the Tampa Bay cap. I tried to find a Devil Rays hat, a throwback, but they didn't have them at this, at this store. But there you go, I might buy more hats down the road. Not really partial to one team, but I believe that the Angels, the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, will probably quickly become my regular go to and the team I support the most because it's really close to my place out there and I want to go to some games enjoy enjoy the ambiance the sights the sounds and the smells of a good baseball game drove over to the back side not the back side of water the back side of the Osceola County Stadium Heritage Park this building here which is now used as the Orlando City soccer or football club depending on whichever you refer to it as which was another sport I used to play soccer when I was very young. Never really followed the games though. Baseball really was the only 
the only sport that I followed closely. Didn't follow basketball, basketball and football as much, a little bit, when I was younger, but baseball really had a pretty good handle on. In fact, I would, in the early 90s, when my family first moved here to Central Florida, this was part of the Houston Astros spring training, and I would show up here and get autographs, met Jeff Bagwell. In fact, I met Yogi Berra right here in this parking lot. I got a baseball signed by Yogi Berra, who was a coach for a little bit in his later years for the Astros for a short time period. I'm gonna continue this way and go up to the stadium, which I worked at for a little bit as well. I worked at the hot dog and vendor stand for a few seasons. I wanted to showcase that first. Kind of fell into the subject matter a little bit. Also right over here is the former Florida Christian College right across the street from the stadium. And I went here one semester back in the early 90s. Not early 90s. It's called something else now. Ah yes, went to many a games down in there. Osceola Heritage Park, you can see the stadium back there. That is the, the wall, the home run wall. The outfield behind those two fences. Spent a lot of time in there back in the early 90s. Quite a few trailers over here and campers, RVs. They are having a event at the rodeo grounds over there. It's a barrel racing horse event as well. How's it going? Here is the Osceola County Stadium. Former spring training home of the Houston Astros back in the 90s. And I worked at one of these concession stands. Actually, I kind of hopped around from concession stand to concession stand. They also used to have the Kissimmee Cobras with spring train in here. And then in later years, up until recently, there was another team that would play here, but they have since moved on to another area of the state. As far as I know, there are no spring training teams here at the Osceola County Stadium anymore, which brings me to another point. Now I realize I will be hopping back and forth between SoCal and Florida, peppering in a couple, you know, a couple games here and there. I won't be in overload by any means, just every once in a while if the mood hits me. But this is a, a mecca of spring training. A lot of teams practice in Arizona and a lot of teams in Central Florida. So that could be something for the future as well. Just kind of enjoy not only, you know, full MLB, but also the farm league teams as well. Yeah, look at this. They got a, a rodeo going on over here as well. Pretty cool. This used to be the ticket booth here. Well, it might still be the ticket booth for certain events. Right along here. Used to have merchandise in there and whatnot, but I don't believe they do now. States right here that the main box office for anything that's happening is over at the, well, the main box office is located at the Silver Spurs Arena, which is right over there. Oh, there's a horse right over there behind a golf cart walking across. just something about baseball that I always always enjoyed kind of lost touch with that over the years yeah this was the team store at one point right in here now it's just some tables and empty walls no longer the team store and around this way if you follow this around is where a lot of the spring training activities in fact I would show up here early in the spring training season when it was only pitchers and catchers would show up before the other fielders and whatnot and they would always practice over here i got a heck of a lot of autographs i don't even know what ever happened to all those baseball cards used to really be into collecting baseball cards back then what got me really thinking about this i did a road trip with my dad about a month or two ago it's been a little while a bit over I it's been about a month probably should have looked up the exact dates but i did a 10-day road trip with my father and we went by Mickey Mantle's house, Commerce, Oklahoma. I have we bought two baseballs. This one is still shrunk wrap. The other one I unwrapped and threw the ball around. Had a father and son catch at Mickey Mantle's house where he grew up in Commerce, Illinois. Commerce, Oklahoma, not Illinois. I lived in Leroy, Illinois another time. Commerce, Oklahoma. 
the the youthful home of one of the greatest baseball players ever, Mickey Mantle. And then shortly after that, a couple days after that, we went to the Field of Dreams field in Dyersville, Iowa. It's not heaven, it's Iowa. And threw the ball around in the same spot as Kevin Costner and his fictional dad there. Very dramatic, kind of tear jerking scene for sure. And it made me realize, gosh, I really, I love that movie. I love Field of Dreams, I love The Natural. Those are probably my two favorite baseball movies. And it just made me kind of harken back to my days of how much I love, still love baseball. And since then, I'm always watching like highlight clips and I've really kind of fallen out of who's playing for what teams, what's really going on. And I feel like that would be good for me to kind of get back into that, that whole vibe, that whole experience, going to stadiums, going to games, enjoying a nice hot dog, some nachos, beverage, out in the out, either in the outfield or having seats. And I can kind of showcase thing. Now that I don't know how it works with regulations on filming. I don't believe I can film the game. I can film segments of the game. I can film the players. I can film a tour of the ballpark. But I think it is frowned upon by the MLB to to film the entire game. I don't, I'm holding this baseball because it just makes me feel good. It's like a comfort. It's almost like a teddy bear. Should I wear the hat backwards? I don't know, something about the Braves hat. I like, I like the way the Braves hat looks on me. As stated, I'm probably going to more Anaheim Angels, Los Angeles Anaheim of Angels games than any of the other ones. But who knows? Maybe at some point over time, may take a while, years, or a year, or two years, or five years. At some point, I might hit up all of the stadiums. Who knows? I'm not making any guarantees. I'm just thinking out loud. Kind of getting excited about this whole now i'm thinking which will be the first game that i that i go to which will be the first one what will be the first baseball game back for me that i will document and experience hmm things that make you go hmm be kind of nice if i could get up in there if i could walk down to the field you can see the first base sideline right there yeah this concession stand you could have seen a younger adam before the woo, that's me, I'm talking to myself. I shouldn't probably even say that. You could, you could have found a younger myself right there. Before YouTube, before any of that stuff, I would have been selling hot dogs, brewskis to those who wanted to have a, a nice beverage while they watched the game. A lot of nachos. I remember a lot of nachos I made right there with cheese and whatnot and jalapenos. I need some baseball nachos. I need some baseball dogs. Hot dogs. This could be fun. I'm excited about this. I'm excited about this. What might happen. Now this gate is open. Should I try to walk back there? Probably not. Well, what's the worst they could say? No? No one said anything. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Look at this. Oh, they have the soccer nets up. Okay, the soccer team is practicing out here. Check it out. Yes. Wow, this brings back some serious memories right here. Look at this. So cool. Wow. Oh, check it out. They have removed the netting behind home plate. In fact, there is no home plate anymore. Look at this, there's no home plate. It's no longer a baseball field. No home plate. Just a soccer field now. Bases have been pulled up. Wow. Yeah, this is this is wild. This is a throwback for me. Sure is. Saw a lot of spring training games here. Saw a lot of Kissimmee Cobra games here. I think I'm saying that right. My apologies if I'm misquoting the team that used to be the. I think it was a 1A or a 2A. There are three divisions, or used to be three divisions, of the farm team system for Major League Baseball. 1A, 2A, and 3A. Starting at 1, you work your way up to 2 to 3. And then if you were good enough and you were in 3 for long enough, they would send you up to the big leagues. And that's the way umpiring works as well. Umpiring works the same way. I thought about that for a short while and then decided against it. Because you have to 
put a lot of time into it. You don't just jump right into a major league game, into the big leagues. I'm walking over here. I'm walking over to this section because I met Tommy Lasorda right over here, back in the 90s. Tommy Lasorda was right down here. A few people around, signed a couple autographs, didn't sign a couple autographs, signed a couple, and that was it for him. Made it very vocal that he was done signing. But I got to see Tommy Lasorda from about this distance. In fact, I think I was right about here, and he was down there. Pretty cool. Tommy Lasorda. Met Yogi Bear here, Tommy Lasorda here. Good times. Going up the steps now until someone, some groundskeepers that saw me walking around. No one has said anything yet since the gate was open. I just walked in and reminiscing a little bit. There we go. Look at that. Man, I wish I still had baseball here. That would be fun. This used to be a section up here where you could grab a picnic table, have a hot dog, another concession stand up here. I guess the Orlando City Soccer Club. They use this for practice. Still can't decide if I should, well, I should take the wrapping off of this. Still can't decide. I also took the stickers off of my hat. I know sometimes it's, it's a good thing to leave the stickers on, but I took the stickers off. I also wear a fitted hat, seven and five eighths, I believe. Yeah, seven and five eighths, the four hats that I bought, seven and five eighths. You can use the snapback, but I went with the fitted. I should probably take the, the plastic off of this, even though there's no one else here to toss it around with, so. Maybe I'll just wait for later. Mark my words, if all goes well, I will be sitting in a seat similar to this at a stadium somewhere. Either here, well, either probably one of the first two will either be Tampa Bay, Tropicana Field, whoa, hello, or Anaheim Angels, Los Angeles Anaheim Angels Stadium, Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Those are probably gonna be the, one of the first two stadiums I go to. I haven't decided which one it will be. So I'm leaving these sections and heading back out. That was nice of them to not say anything. We're walking in here. Just talked to a gentleman in a golf cart who approached me and said that there is no longer baseball played here and they are doing, I don't know if it's an exhibition or a game, a soccer game, no guests are allowed. Interesting, no more baseball is here right now. Even the, he said the fire frogs for the other team that used to be here, and the Fire Frogs have left the building. There might be some other minor league teams around Florida though that I could I could check out. Oh, always, always lawn maintenance. Everywhere I go, there's lawn maintenance. All right, that was cool. Up, oh, some media's pulling in here now. Yep, it looks like they're going to be filming the game for the soccer match, but not it says that has media written on the side but it will not be allowed for guests. Interesting. Don't tell anyone, it's supposed to be a secret. Okay, heading out of the Osceola County Stadium. That's pretty much it. An informational video describing on what I'm gonna be doing. I'm trying to kind of pepper in things a little bit differently. I don't wanna get completely predictable with what I'm doing. I wanna kind of make making a pact with myself, or did recently, for just to do whatever I want. I made kind of a New Year's resolution about that and I'm trying to hone that a little bit and really do more of what I enjoy and showcase that as opposed to just always being the same type of repetitive stuff. Mix it up a bit. That's it. Nice about mixing things up, being happy, doing what you enjoy, and really trying to transform this channel, the Daily Woo channel, which I usually do a video every day. I would say probably at least six to seven times a week. Sometimes I get on a roll and do three or four or five. I don't think I miss a day in a while. Probably a couple months. But really the whole consensus of that is to just document my life, document what I'm doing, tell my thoughts, and show my day and show what I, what I enjoy. I'll see you in the next video, the vlog. It is humid out here. Can't decide. Backwards forwards. Good times. The vlog. I'm cutting down some palm trees.
I'm excited to get back to SoCal also. This humidity here is intense. I'm excited to get, it's been, it'll be close to 20 weeks by the time I get back there at the end of the month. All right, I'm done. See you in the next video of the vlog. It's over. Oh yeah, and the reason I never, I never followed that dream or that pursuit is mostly because I didn't have the talent and the lack of talent I had, I did not put the time and effort and discipline to continuously practice to make myself better to even reach that level. That's why I never, that's why I never did it. It was a nice little thought, didn't put the work in. It takes a lot of work to, to achieve that status. Plus I was homeschooled and I went to, I went to schools that had very, very low attendance. So it wasn't really a lot of, a lot of teams that I could play on, but really what it boiled down to is I just didn't want it bad enough and you have to want something to make it happen.